Let's start with a case study by Bill Allett, experienced entrepreneur and author of Disciplined Entrepreneurship. Ardeen graduated from MIT 15 years ago, and he was very successful in business. And he decided that after that, he wanted to start his own business. So he thought about different ideas, and then he realized, boy, there's no Lamborghini dealership in Boston. I'm going to start a Lamborghini dealership. And he opens his doors on Tuesday morning after setting this up for over six months. And Tuesday morning, nothing happens. No one comes in. The phone doesn't ring. And finally, at 1035, Laura walks through the door. Now, I know you, you make a high profit on Lamborghinis, and I'm willing to pay you that. I don't have a Lamborghini, at which time Erdine looks out the window and sees that she's driving a four-year-old Volvo, and in the back, there's two car seats. Erdine's wondering, should he take the business? What we want to do here in this class is give you a very solid framework to analyze critically important decisions in your business. And this decision will be easy once you understand that you need to build the company from the customer back. Erdine's business plan targeted a, a group in Boston that was underserved. It was a persona that we have here, it's called Giovanni. Giovanni makes a tremendous amount of money because a Lamborghini will cost you $300,000 to start and then there's a whole bunch of ancillary things. So Giovanni makes well over a million dollars. He's in his 40s. It turns out that he's not married anymore. He has fun with his friends by going to the hottest nightclubs in Boston, dating models, going to Monaco. But at the end of the day, what Giovanni is buying is not a car. He is buying an image. And this persona that we built up is much different than the persona of Laura. Laura is 40s as well, but she is female. She is married. She has a four-year-old Volvo. Now you can say, well, that's a stereotype, but this is exactly what companies do. Is it exact? No. But what it does is it creates, in the bell curve, the most likely customers to buy their products. There will be some outlying people that buy Lamborghinis. And if you try to do two at the same time, you will end up doing neither well. You'll have an in-between strategy, which we call the mermaid strategy. It's neither woman nor fish. It does neither particularly well. You can't have that type of strategy. Do one thing, do it well. This is the focus.